Hey guys, we have another clip. We have another clip of the reunion. Well, the dinner party at the reunion from Fitzy, Whipper and Kate. Now take a look, it goes for three minutes. I haven't seen it yet. I've got it on my other phone so I can watch it with you guys. Like you know, I have to be in the video, otherwise YouTube will take it down. So let's take a look guys together. It goes for three and a half minutes. Let's take a look. You f***ing liar. The dinner party's probably not the best place for something like that. This isn't a f***ing dinner party, Jaden. <laughs> Pipe down. I, I f I'm gonna get in trouble. He's full of sh from head to toe. I'm not saying her name. I don't need a goddamn lawsuit. He's doing everybody. Rich got my name tattooed on him. What? So, no way. If Rich messes up, joke's on him. Show, show us the tack. Show us. show us the tack. Oh my God. Were you actually looking for houses on the Gold Coast? It depends if Jay keeps being a good girl. If she is, then maybe. Oh, a good girl. How good's love, yeah? I love love. <laughs> I am still searching, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, maybe I believe in love too much. Were you expecting Jaden to tell you he loved you at the last dinner party? I definitely would have rather it to be private and a bit more sentimental. Like, yeah, the dinner party's probably not the best place for something like that. It was certainly the first time I meant it. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's love. If we were to offer you $1,000 right now, <laughs> would you let us cut your hair? I mean, me, I'm open to anything. The threesome thing, was that actually real or was, the, was that all bullshit? Right. About as real as your relationship with Lucinda. Tim, listen, we got two successful relationships down here, both half your age, so you ain't got now, no room at all. Now, oh, okay, come on, Jane. Come on, okay. Come on, are they successful? <laughs> we come on. on. You guys told me to invite all my ex-boyfriends. Are they here? Wait, come out now, guys. There were two exes, yeah? No, there wasn't. Was it the same ex? This isn't a f***ing dinner party, Jaden. <laughs> Pipe down. Been rumours going around that you could be one of the experts. I've got to say this with all of my heart. I could be no expert in New Zealand or Australia. Why? Because I'm not in a bloody relationship. I would hate to think it's the end. What is your current relationship now? Lou would be one of my closest friends. We've met a lifelong friend. The relationship with Ellie, where is that at at the moment? I can confirm that they are together and they're really happy and I, I'm, f I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, but you, at one stage you said he wasn't manly enough for you. I didn't say he wasn't manly enough for me. But you said you want a real man, like I want like I didn't say that soldier. either. <laughs> I want a real man with big He does have so I didn't say that either. <laughs> I'm not going to exactly say what happened or how it happened, but I did get a phone call from Jack's ex, which actually answered a lot of questions, which made the show make complete sense. You f***ing liar. <laughs> Oh. So, are they still together, Tim? Is that what you're saying? He's full of shit from head to toe. What's Jack doing? He's doing everybody. What, what, was this happening during filming or just after? Yes, the... during. <laughs> I remember Jack was sitting on the chair and he was like having this conversation, this deep conversation. And he looked at me and he looked really uncomfortable and I was like, my gut just said, I bet you anything he's on the phone to this girl. I'm not saying her name. I don't need a goddamn lawsuit. She was. He was, so... Oh. I don't know okay. what's happening. Oh. My God. Bombshell. Oh, my God, guys. That was explosive. I loved that. I absolutely loved that. Do you know what really irked me, though, guys? What really irked me is Sarah. Goddamn Sarah, Sarah, whatever her name is. She irked me. Like, she's always throwing stones when she clearly should be looking in her own backyard. Do you know what I mean? She bugged me. I don't know why. She seems to bug me. I feel like, just between you and I, like everyone is saying that Timothy has a crush on Tori. I don't see that at all. I see that Timothy has a crush on Sarah. This is what I feel anyways, just what I'm thinking. But anyways, I'm gonna go see if I can find this actual dinner party and I'll put the link in the description if I find it. But yeah, woo, loved it. And Cassandra's still single and Lucinda. Like that rumor that was going around, everyone was saying that Lucinda was gonna be one of the experts on the Married at First Sight New Zealand. Well, she's not gonna be. Where do all these rumors start? I don't know where they all start or where they come from because it wasn't true at all. Anyways, guys, loved it, absolutely loved it. I really want to find this whole dinner party and I'm going to put the link in as soon as I find it for you guys. 